Marcy McCarthy. When you're five feet tall, you kind of don't want to stand behind a table. <laughs> How's everyone doing today? Well, what a beautiful Saturday, and here we are saving Georgia as well as our country. I want to tell you a little bit about myself. Um, I originally was a mass hole and became a <laughs> yes from Massachusetts. I uh, came to Georgia in 1994 and became a Georgia peach and never looked back. Yes, exactly. So um, I got involved uh, in Georgia politics really in, and inspired through President Trump when he came down the escalator and uh, said, I'm gonna change America and I'm gonna run it like a business. Well, I am a business owner myself. I'm a, I own a marketing and events company in the cybersecurity industry. And I uh, got very involved um, in the political scene, became uh, a part of the presidential inauguration committee. Fast forward though to the 2020 elections, I was involved with Trump Victory. I was one of the top fundraiser, volunteer fundraisers in the country uh, for President Trump's reelection. But I was a vote review panelist in DeKalb County. And if you're not familiar with that, that's where you adjudicate the absentee ballots, duplicate them when they are, I see a lot of nods of heads so you know what I'm talking about, uh, when they're physically damaged and they can't be read by the scanning technology. Well, in our presidential primary, Things went pretty much to the letter of the law. And um, we adjudicated the ballots. It was a very ardent process. There was a Democrat there. I was the Republican. Uh, there was a supervisor observing what we did. Fast forward to the general. And mail-in voting uh, became the way of life for uh, a lot of us um, because uh, it was the pandemic really going in full force. But the reality is it was, an it was a perfect storm for the Democrats to cheat. And what we saw in DeKalb County, myself personally, was the duplication uh, was done by election office workers instead of vote review panels in an undisclosed location. So they were acting as de facto adjudicators. Additionally, what happened um, was we had a nonpartisan pair operating independently. Can you guys hear me okay? Is this better? Okay. All microphones are a little bit different, so sorry about that. Okay, I don't want to kill your ears. Um, but we had a nonpartisan pair operating independently for several days, having access to over uh, about 900 ballots with no locks and controls. So they had the ability to undo what the bipartisan pair was doing uh, overall. I sounded the alarm. This was my moment of epiphany of we've got to do something. Fast forward to after the 2020 elections, I was down at the Capitol, camped out for months to get SB202 passed uh, overall. And fast forward now to present day, uh, I was elected as DeKalb's chair unanimously in 2021, and I am running for re-election Sorry, thank you, I see you. Is it just easier if I just talk without the microphone? Can you? Yes. Okay, I do speak, I may be five feet tall, but I can speak pretty loud, how's that? Yeah. Okay, good deal. So with that said, um, here we are in present day. I was voted in in 2021 unanimously as the CAB's chair, and I'm running for re-election for that role. And yes, I can hold two offices at a county GOP level as well as a state level, much like Brant does to present day with you guys in Coweta and a second vice chair. But what we've had happen to us in ensuring, we have done a lot of on the front to restore fitness, faith, integrity, and trust in our elections uh, over the last couple of years. We've built a stakeholders group, working group, with our elections office, the Democrats, our Tea Party, the Georgia GOP, Georgia Victory, and we have accomplished so much. So our credentialing for poll watchers was very smooth. The vote review panels operated in the manner under the law. Um, if you asked our DeKalb GOP members, they will say that we had a good election in the 2022 midterms. It went well. Fast forward right now, on the end of January, we had another bomb dropped at us 
you might have heard that Zuckerbucks reared its ugly head in DeKalb County. Did you all hear about this? Yes. Okay, I see some nods yes, and I see some nods no. Let me fill you in if that's okay. So our elections board, or our elections uh, director, Keisha Smith, announced at the board meeting on January 27th that the U.S. Center of Excellence, for Elections Excellence, was giving a grant of $2 million to our elections office. This money was funneled through DeKalb County. Our election board representatives, we have two Republicans that serve on this board that I appoint, and it's the most important job as county chair to appoint your election board representatives, had no knowledge, no knowledge of this grant funneling through DeKalb County and ultimately to the elections office. I was made aware of that. I took, I was outraged. That is a violation of the spirit of SB 202. So I pulled up the law and it said that county and local governments can accept outside grants. So we they ultimately took advantage of a loophole that was written into SB 202. But the spirit of SB 202 is not to have any type of outside money and influence impacting the elections offices directly. We're supposed to have equity, equality amongst all of our counties and our election offices. I sprung into action. I started calling our um, Secretary of State's office. I called our board, State Board of Elections. I, start, I called uh, Chris Carr, Attorney General. Um, I started calling everybody that would listen to me. I reached out to several election integrity groups that I have built relationships with, like Cleta Mitchell, uh, Voter GA, whole, and Tea Party Patriots, a whole number of organizations. We sprung into action. And in just a f less than a month, we have accomplished so much. We have legislation now that is pending called SB 222 that makes it, that passed the Senate 33 to 23 on Thursday night. So now, it, yes. It is, will make crossover day because it hit the deadline and now proceeds into the House. And this, this bill is amazing. It forces DeKalb County to return the $2 million. <laughs> Even better, even better, if it's ever done again, you're going to jail for a minimum of a year and you're paying a $10,000 fine. This law did not exist prior to January 30th. I sprung into action, worked all the channels, built a whole team, and we got this through committee. Even better, because actions have consequences, don't they? We all feel that if you violate the law, there should be something on the other side for you, like an orange jumpsuit, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. If you're found guilty, we are innocent until proven guilty. I want to be very clear about that. Now, it, there is a state board of elections investigation underway because what we discovered was that application for the grant was filed in May of 2022 by the CFO of DeKalb County on behalf of the elections office in DeKalb. He wished to remain anonymous. In the application, he was answering questions on behalf of the state of Georgia. Additionally, he said we can't afford vote stickers all the way to buildings. They need a building, they need a car, they need everything for that $2 million. He also, mind you, wanted to remain anonymous, but referred his best friend, the elections uh, supervisor of Clayton County with a direct dial and said, yeah, you can tell him I sent you that way. But the, the application itself was to remain anonymous. Fast forward, I, you know, I did open a rec open records request uh, amongst other folks. And at the end of the day, what we were able to accomplish is having an investigation that is underway by our State Board of Elections. And I believe that some other law enforcement agencies or constitutional officers are additionally involved. 
when you have an active investigation, they can't comment on different things and they have to do the work at hand. But I'm very excited and hopeful that actions have consequences and if it does get discovered that they conspired to break SB 202, that they might be punished for the work that they thought they were going to get away with. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the kind of leadership that I bring to the table. I see something, I say something, I'm just not going to, you know, out there and go, oh, the, oh, be woe me, make me victim. I'm going to take action, outrage, and put it into real results. Very few people that I'm aware of have been able to have a bill put through in just a matter of weeks and have a state investigation. I really believe wholeheartedly in fitness, ensuring faith, integrity, and trust in our elections. I would be very honored to earn your vote in Columbus at the state convention. We vote on June, uh, June 10th. Uh, we're down there from June 9th and June 10th, but I would be very honored uh, to be with all of you and earn your vote. Thank you. And if you, if you would like to learn more about me, my website is Marcy, M-A-R-C-I, McCarthy, M-C-C-A-R-T-H-Y, dot U-S.